So tonight is the big night. We are celebrating our five year anniversary of having a dinner. We're actually going out to the Melting Pot. Awesome restaurant that we, uh, it's kind of like a tradition that we're going to now. It's, it's a fondue restaurant. Now is your household anything like mine? The guy is always ready to go. And the lady is never ready. Shut up. She's never ready. I had to make sure my clothes were dry. How many of your families or couples are like that? The guy's always ready and the lady's just always sitting back and an hour later, hour after you're supposed to be there, they're yeah. ready. You know what? What, monkey good. butt? We look good. Hey dude, you got a few words for them? You tell them what's up? You were just talking. What's going on? So how did everybody's Valentine's Day go? Uh, I want to know. I want to hear what was the most romantic thing that your significant other did. Put it in the comments below here. Hopefully I'll uh, read them off to you guys. I, I need ideas. What's the true meaning of romance? Whining and dining and all that sex. jazz. See, Raina just says sex, but we don't do that over here. We do. We just can't do it right now. She has a now. chastity belt on her. Just right now. Can't do anything right now. That's a really bad thing to be taking a picture of me right now. Yeah. Women are so insecure if they don't have their faces on. Why, I'm women? Really you are beautiful. I'm wearing a sheer white shirt. Oh, we can't see. Oh. But you women get so damn insecure. Don't you realize that all of you guys are beautiful? Just accept it. Embrace it. All right. So now is the waiting game that all of us guys get to play. We're in the car, waiting for Miss Reina, and here she comes. Hi, Mama! <whistles> Hell yeah! I still can't believe that I'm with this. Or that she's with me. Five years later. Good Lord. Hello, Mama. <laughs> you look hot. I try, I try. Good Lord. So here we are, guys. Cain has already ruined our nice, romantic meal. Check it out. We're missing Raina. Where's she at? But we're here at the melting pot. And Caden's being fussy. He just pooped himself, so Raina's in the bathroom changing him right now. Uh, I'm enjoying my nice glass of uh, champagne by my lonesome. Flowers on the table. This is really nice. Melting pot. So here we are, finally celebrating our five year anniversary at the melting pot. Finally. It is a beautiful, beautiful little thing. We are in our own private little room. Oh, and Caden. Oh, What's up, buddy? Are you hungry too? Good stuff. But look at this, we're in our own little private room. Flowers and all. Hello. So, so explain to us what we got going on here. We have got a little cheesy fondue going. I think this is the salsa spice cheddar or something. Cheese nacho. <laughs> but it is extremely awesome. We didn't get it really hot hot this time. We got it medium. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Little guy down here, just fussing it up. And I don't know why, but this is blurry. It is recording blurry. Is it? No bueno. You want to try mine? It's all gravy. Oh, okay. You still look beautiful. Do I? Do I? You're so sexy. This place really fills you up, though. It's good stuff. Cheese, meat, steak, chicken. Mm -hmm. Champagne for us for doing a champagne toast for Valentine's Day and our anniversary. Aww. So awesome and so cute. Aww. <laughs> Mama, do you remember our first date? Our very first date? Of course I remember our first date. Our first date was on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. And we had plans to go out somewhere, but I ended up having to work. Oh, buddy. So I was hosting karaoke at this bar called the River Bottom. And no and behold, to my knowledge, I did not know this was apparently a brothel. But I guess it was. A brothel. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Our first date was at a brothel. I thought it was just a regular little cheap rundown bar. But, you know, yes, I do re remember some certain guests and stuff. And some of the cheesy, flimsy looking little service waitresses that they had there. With short, short booty shorts and... Cowboy boots. Cowboy boots, yes, thank you. And they would sometimes disappear upstairs. Uh, it was just like a VIP that was upstairs. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> so I ended up doing karaoke there for a little bit, about what, an hour and a half, almost two hours. 
And then we were leaving to go over to his bar over at Bar 21. Well, on the way over there, we ended up going by the sister bar, which is like down the street, and seeing one of his patrons <laughs> getting arrested for a DUI on a scooter. That was split in half. Yeah, his scooter was split in half? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he crashed into the back of uh, a moving vehicle. I, I, I don't know, but a yeah, moving vehicle ruined his scooter. Cracked his his uh, um, <clears throat> helmet. I remember having his helmet on me and everything. Yeah, it was good times. Great first date, babe. And he wouldn't give me any on our first date. <laughs> Check out what they just brought us to our table. The melting pot. How is that? Wait a minute. That looks just like. That looks just like us. <laughs> <laughs> We're just missing a person. He's being fussy. Now he's all chilled out and he's just staring at me. This, my friend, is the best part of the melting pot. Of course. <laughs> Look at this chocolate covered Ooh, cherry. Isn't that yeah. awesome? Yeah, look at that. This is red velvet cake, red velvet pound cake. And it says happy anniversary, Lucy. <sighs> oh, that is some dopeness. Look how cool it is. <laughs> and this is our banana, banana white chocolate dipping sauce. It's called banana fosters. Is that what it was called? Yeah, we thought we'd, we'd switch it up. We usually get this thing called the yin yang, which is he's the us. Yang and I'm the white chocolate. And a, uh, dark uh, chocolate. Dark chocolate. So we're trying the banana white chocolate now. Oh God! Can't Best wait. part. Dig in. Oh my dear heart. So we just got home from having an extremely fabulous, splendid night over at the melting pot, and it was really, really fun. Haven't done it in a while. This is normally a tradition for us that we do uh, every anniversary, but we weren't able to do it last year because we just got ended up getting really, really busy. And going on vacation with the family and all of the good jazz. But we were able to go this year. And it was so amazing. I don't know even what to say about it. Rose petals on the table. We had a single rose on the table itself for me to take with me in a little vase. They took our picture. And we got a picture frame with our picture in it and everything. A four course meal. A champagne toast. And then we got like one cocktail or a glass of wine a piece and everything. And I mean, it was just so amazing. How did you like it, babe? I am so comatose. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm funny. Uh, uh, is your belly full? I just took the biggest poop just to get some. Oh, okay, stuff. okay, okay. Rated PG. What? PG. I'm just <laughs> there is getting his swing on. Knocked out. Wouldn't really took us. It took us all the way until we had dinner. He's a swinger already. A shut. <laughs> It took him all the way until we were starting to eat our actual dinner to calm down and go to sleep. Fussy little man. I know, he was so fussy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my poor child, you were just all over the place. Ugh. Well, it's time for us to chill and relax and do what we do. I'm on my computer watching some of my anime stuff and he's over there editing and I'll probably finish this one episode of one that I'm watching here and possibly play a video game since he so loves me so much for our anniversary and Valentine's Day he got me my Gears of War 3 game huh that's love you know exactly the way to my heart honey right. hey, where to your monkey where to your monkey <laughs>